Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. Time for your daily dose of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today we are going to recreate a battle, a historic battle in the custom uh, battle designer. And I thought I would go with something small but still significant uh, to start out. And so what we're going with is we're trying to recreate at least the the basic parameters of the Battle of the Falkland Islands, which was fought in December of 1914. Uh, off the uh, coast of the Falklands. It was a major victory for the British Navy. Uh, it was also the place where uh, the famous uh, German Admiral uh, Maximilian von Spee was killed. Uh, he's the one who uh, had the ship named after him later on, the famous ship from World War II. Uh, it was the destruction of this German fleet, which was outnumbered. Uh, one of the light cruisers did survive, but the other two, the two uh, heavy cruisers, the two light cruisers were all destroyed. Uh, and so we're going with the makeup uh, from 1914 of the two forces. The British had two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers. Uh, the Germans had a couple of transport ships, but we're not worried about that. 1914 is the year. And from the map that I looked at of the Battle of Falkland Islands, it seems that at the beginning they were about 20,000 meters apart. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm not going to go in and design the ships or even name them. Uh, so this isn't meant to be an exact historic recreation, just to recreate the, the parameters as they existed. And then to do a quick start and try out this new custom battle function. We're going to get into some of the more famous battles, the, more, the bigger ones. Uh, I did try yesterday to do the Battle of Jutland, uh, and that was a mess for a number of reasons. Number one, this custom battle allows at max 100 ships. There were like 250 ships at the Battle of Jutland. Uh, but even when I cut all of the fleets in half, and actually a little less than half, and tried to recreate it, when I had 100 ships, it just was such a mess. And the, um, the graphics were down to like, even on the lowest setting, it was down to like three frames per second. So it was just completely unplayable. So we may have to just recreate Jutland by maybe doing like one fourth of the real size of the fleets. I don't know, but looks like interesting. We've got an Enterprise, uh, Lord Clyde, Cassandra, Shard, Shardis, Leviathan, Argyle, Carnarvon, and that is our force. So uh, let's take a look here. It looks like the uh, light cruisers are in a screening formation. Uh, I'll probably keep them that way, although I think historically pretty much the entire British Navy or both navies were just in kind of a long line, uh, but we're not going to do that. So well, maybe we should just to make it even and, and historical, but that doesn't mean the enemy is going to do that, so I guess I'm not going to worry about it. Enemy smoke spotted to the north. So we're going to head that direction. Now, like I said, I'm just recreating the parameters of the Battle of the Falkland, Falkland Islands. I'm just going to I'm going to take this as it comes. I'm not going to try to recreate tactics or anything like that because I can't control what the enemy does. Uh, but we're going to try to close this gap. Looks like these battle cruisers are nice and fast. 39 knots. Uh, we've got 9-inch guns. No torpedoes on the light cruisers that I can see. What about the heavy cruisers? They're falling behind, so we're probably going to have to go ahead and slow down to give them a chance to catch up. No torpedoes on them either, so I don't have any torpedoes on any of my ships. Not a huge deal. All right, I think we found him. Well, he found us, I should say. It's interesting, the... Fire was coming from, yeah, northeast. Okay. So he spotted me before I could spot him. Funny, we actually have the Germans on the opposite side as they were historically. I believe... Uh, if we're steaming north, the Germans would have been on the left of the British during this battle. I'm going to let the armored cruisers do their own thing and put them on AI control. I don't know what that's going to mean. Historically, on this game, AI kind of stinks. But All right, we're getting a look at the enemy. We 
we got here? Alright, we're gonna slow down to our speed to get that own cruise speed bonus. Alright, what are you guys doing? Put them on AI control as well. I'm gonna pretty much just kind of handle the battle cruisers. raise up the graphic settings a little bit. We're on good. I want to go to beautiful. And didn't really make much of a difference. I don't think anybody scored any hits yet. We're only at a 2.3% hit chance at 6 kilometers. I think we're going to try to change our target. We're going to go after the Leipzig. That's our first identified vessel. Interesting we identified that one that much before the others. Wow, my light cruisers are just going right at him. What is going on there? I don't know what that's about. It seems like a poor idea. Meanwhile, my armor cruisers are way the heck out here. And that doesn't do anybody any good. Let's at least get them to follow the battle cruisers. Let's get them in tight. I'm going to do the same with my battle cruisers. You get a bonus for that. Man, what are these guys doing? Seems dangerous. They just went right in on him. We got a torpedo coming. Keep an eye out for where that thing is. Right there. I'm actually gonna gonna try to turn in front of it if I can. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, that thing's gonna nail me. I probably would have been better off turning away. Yikes! Oh, jeez. Oh man. All right, it wasn't too bad. I don't know what those cruisers are doing. But they're paying for it. You can see that. I I should know better than to, to use AI on this game ever. Lord Clyde's going to drop out of line now because they took that torpedo. What is Cassandra doing? Just going in a circle? Let's not fire on the ship that's right next to one of ours, okay? Who took that torpedo hit? Ah, oh, the, the cruiser, of course. 
Because they're sitting right next to him like an idiot. And they have no torpedoes of their own or else that would make sense. They're not even causing any damage. I mean, at least if you're going to get in close like this, at least do something to somebody. Now we got the Lord Clyde kind of doing their own thing because of these because of that torpedo hit they took. All right. Now this has been just not good so far. Is that another torpedo coming in? Yeah. Going after my idiot light cruiser captain. Well, at least he scored a little bit of a hit on the Leipzig. Meanwhile, I'm 2.6 kilometers out and barely making a dent with my battle cruisers. Torpedo in the water again. Yep. Okay, now we're in close enough to start getting some hits. Where's that torpedo? Right there. Turn, baby, turn. There we go. Now we're getting some hits. I'm going to start coming back around this way. Let these guys catch up. Woo! Tight turn. Get a glimpse from sea level. It's a nice clear day, which I believe it was for the Battle of Jutland. Or not Jutland, uh, the Battle of uh, the Falkland Islands. Uh, what made me think of this battle as an option to recreate is that a couple of weeks ago I mentioned that they found the wreckage of the Scharnhorst, and that was the, the World War I Scharnhorst, which was sunk during this battle. Alright, he sank the one light cruiser, the other one's still off doing its own thing. I have no idea what, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. Torpedo in the water. The good news is I was already turning. I should be okay here. Oh, we gotta watch Lord Clyde though. He may turn right into this thing. You go that way, sir. No, 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 no. Alright, no, no, no. He won't listen. Ah, stop following. Ah, uh, maybe too late. Eek. Yeah, it's too late. He's going to take that one right in the right in midships. 
All right, well, now you can go back to following. Be careful here, the Argyle is right there. Torpedo in the water. Ah, uh, that one's gonna hit me. I definitely wish I had put torpedoes on my ships instead of just going with the auto build. Because with this close combat, I'm kind of feeling not having them. It's all right. I can handle a couple of torpedo hits. Nah, I go after the Leipzig. Let's take him out. I really should have just gotten everybody in a row and then just encircled him. His armored cruisers are just escaping. Another torpedo in the water. If Carnarvon goes fast enough, he should be okay. Leipzig's on fire big time. We've got the bigger guns. Get a glimpse of what's going on here. Try to bring some order to this thing. We'll get everybody stretched out, start circling. Oh, nice hits on Leipzig. Leviathan's just gonna kinda ram right into that ship. Gotta be careful here with my fire. Although I haven't really determined if friendly fire is a thing on here. I guess this is a good opportunity to find out. Doesn't appear to be. In real life, this would be a mess. Having one of your ships right next to him while we're firing on him? Bad idea. No, don't go toward him. These armor cruisers are way out there and untouched so far. Well, the ones that got some damage. Hey, there's a torpedo randomly coming at me. 
actually, you know what? Speed up. And then turn. Alright, we're gonna miss that one. There we go. All right, we're starting to bring some order to this situation now. Get Lord Clyde following him. No, I don't want you to do that. I want you to follow. Argyle is on AI. We're going to turn that off. We're going to have you follow Lord Clyde. Or follow Le Le Leviathan, which is following Lord Clyde. Okay. All right, let's deal with these ships, and then we'll go after the cruisers, the the heavier cruisers. Meanwhile, my light cruiser is off in La La Land. Stupid AI. Why do I ever bother with that? about to get our first uh, kill here. Leviathan's doing its job. So I'm thinking, you know, one of the things I hope we get to be able to do on this game, I hope will happen is, there the Emden sank. Um, I hope they will keep track of the history of each vessel. You know, what battles they fought in. Um, just like they do with the other games. You know, like Ultimate General Civil War, you can see what battles the, the unit has fought in and how many kills it got, how many casualties it took, that sort of thing. I'm hoping that'll be a part of the campaign. Okay, there goes Leipzig. So we've got one light cruiser left. So a slow start, but we're starting to get organized now. And it still seems like high explosives is the way to go. I think at some point we'll try the same battle, but we'll do it from the German side, which will be a bit more of a challenge because the Germans were outgunned here. Uh, the fleets were basically even except for the two battle cruisers on the British side. So I could see that as being a unique challenge that would really cause me to have to think and um, use a lot of skill that I probably don't have yet. But it's a little easier on the British side fighting this battle. So we're finally doing what I should have done to begin with, which is getting everybody in one line. Oh boy, torpedo coming right at Leviathan from close range. That'll be the last thing Condor does. We're going to start heading toward these cruisers. I only see one of them now. I think my, my three cruisers back here will be able to finish Condor off. Oh, what is Leviathan doing? Avoiding torpedoes, maybe? I don't know. But turning right into Argyle is what they're doing. Uh, I don't understand that. Is 
they take damage and then they immediately drop to the back of the line and it kind of throws everything off when they do. Good thing collisions don't cause damage on here. There goes Condor. Okay. Let's do this. Let's get after these guys. You're back up to the best available speed, which I'm not sure what that is right now. Now we're going to switch over to auto because we're probably going to need armor piercing on these armed cruisers. Looks like 27.4 is the best we can do at the moment. He's off at seven and a half kilometers. I don't know what his speed is. Thuringia. We'll go at full speed till we get closer. We are closing the gap, so that's good. Plenty of shells left. These guys can't keep up with the battle cruisers. Ah, Cassandra's making a return. All right, well, we've been pursuing him for quite a while now. Thankfully, my battle cruisers have decent speed now. Of course, the trouble is I'm not at a max speed. The most I can get up to is 27, but it's still enough to very slowly overtake a 26 knot Thuringia. Uh, so it's just taking a while because of the damage to my own ship. But we're getting there. Uh, my light cruiser is kind of zipping up into position. They can go 32 and a half knots. Um, We've closed the gap from originally where it was about seven and a half. It's down to just 5.3. And I'm firing at him, hoping that I'll get a hit that'll maybe slow him down a little bit. But so far, that hasn't happened. So we're just going to keep on going at full speed until we kind of land some hits. I used armor piercing for a while, but that didn't do a whole lot. So I'm trying out the high explosive now to see if maybe if I can get a fire in the right place, if it'll maybe do the damage I need to slow him down. He's at 92% right now. I did hit one of his funnels, so that ought to at least be slowing him down a little bit. My armored cruisers, which actually have my biggest guns, they've got 10-inch guns, uh, are lagging behind because uh, they can only go 26 knots, so they're just really kind of barely keeping up at the moment. Keep getting these hits and we'll we'll slowly slow them down. There we go. Now we're starting to get into the range where we're starting to make some progress. We've got him under five kilometers, ten percent chance to hit at this point. Oh, he sent a torpedo at me. Oh boy. Going full speed, that is the wrong thing for me to have to deal with. Where is that thing? Right there. I spotted it too late, but I th think I'm going to be okay. Now let's turn this way. I'm trying to turn the back end of my ship so I miss it. Yep, we're good. Okay. Didn't realize he had bow torpedo or uh, stern torpedoes on this thing. Must be underwater. He's only got three left, so we'll watch for the next one to fire. Here it comes, probably. Yep, he fired another one. Why does it still say three left? There, we got another hit on him, though. Let's just watch for this torpedo to get spotted. I'm actually going to turn this way now. Try to get ahead of ahead of the curve on this thing. Until we spot it. 
Here we go. He's gonna miss us to the left. It's darn near impossible for him to hit me with a torpedo. A single torpedo, as long as I know it's coming. Here's another hit. Got his other funnel, so hopefully we're slowing him down now. 13% chance to hit. Plenty of shells left over. I just pretty much have to do this with Enterprise because it's the only ship that's in range at the moment. Oh, he fired another torpedo. Oh, and I didn't... Ah, darn it. I was so caught up in trying to hit him that I wasn't even thinking about that last torpedo. Let's watch for this one. And as soon as he fires it, we'll turn. He got me for 300 damage and probably, yeah, he slowed me down by another knot. So now I've got a problem because unless I've slowed him down, he's probably faster than me now. Okay, here it comes. We may have to get Lord Clyde up ahead. There it is. All right, we're good. And he's out of torpedoes now. Slowly but surely, we're scoring little hits on him. There we go. Got all three funnels now. Hopefully we're slowing him down. He's almost out of 10 inch shells now. And at that point, I'll just steam right up alongside of him. I don't know if the Irene's been firing on me or not. I guess it has. It's got five torpedoes, though. This is when I wish I had torpedoes. I could come up with the Cassandra and go after him. With a few of those, I would at least force him to turn, and then I, um, I can catch up to him a little faster. Okay, well that was unexpected, or I would have been recording. My light cruiser just landed a six-inch shell that caused an ammo explosion on the Thuringia and sank it. So the Cassandra, well done. I thought it was going to have to be one of these heavier craft that did the job, but uh, I put Cassandra alongside of him with AP shells while everybody else is firing high explosive, and they got the big penetration for 2,500 damage on the bow extended belt. I would have been recording, but I was trying to wait until I got a little closer where there'd be more action. Unnecessary, apparently. So now we go after Irene. I've, I've gone ahead and issued independent orders to these other ships because most of them have better speed right now than Enterprise because of the damage Enterprise took. So we're going to try to uh, see if these other vessels can catch up. But I may not need them to after what Cassandra just did. So we're now, we're, we're 6.4 kilometers out. We're actually losing ground. So I may have to do this with Cassandra. How's he on? He's still got 161 shells left over, so we got to be careful here. But we may have to try and get lucky again with Cassandra. It's the only ship that can catch him right now. Okay, so I've got it on five times speed just till we get 
up here closer. What I'm I'm I kind of doing here is I'm probably going to sacrifice Cassandra uh, for the sake of trying to slow him down. If I can get up to where I can get oh torpedo in the water. How many has he got left? He's got two left. If I can get up alongside and maybe score a couple of hits to slow him down, then I can let my more powerful guns uh, from my other ships get up here and finish him off. But right now, Irene's just going too fast for me. I gotta watch for these last two torpedoes. Here comes another one. Nice thing is these light cruisers are much more maneuverable. How close is Enterprise? Seven kilometers. Yeah, we're losing ground big time. One torpedo left, and it's going to be coming my way here soon. Here it comes. So let's turn. Get some smoke out there. And we're at 1.6 kilometers, so pretty soon we can get up alongside them here. Just want to try and score a couple of nice penetration hits. Right now the ricochet chance is so high because I'm firing at them from this bad angle. But if we can get up alongside, different story. Looks like we're forcing them to turn. So we've got to make sure we're turning along with them. Yeah, it's out to... Oh, it's actually slowed down a little bit to seven kilometers because of his turn. So it's a cat and mouse game right now. Still a really high ricochet chance. Just need to get away from this bad angle we've got. I'm gonna switch Enterprise over to AP shells for a while. Maybe we'll get lucky with a ammo detonation. Got to get a hit first, though. Come on, let's get up there. Now, this is dangerous, obviously, because he's got big guns. Ten inchers. I just want to slow them down. And it looks like I'm driving them back toward the rest of my fleet, which is perfect. That's exactly what I want to have happen here. He's trying to keep the angle on Cassandra, but in doing so, he's turning right toward my battlecruiser. Perfect. That's what we want. Now's our chance. Come on, Enterprise. He doesn't have any torpedoes left. Oh, boy. That's not what I was after. Slow him down. Just get in his way. Ha, ha, ha. 
he's one one good salvo away from blowing Cassandra out of the water. I really have no idea where Lord Clyde is going. Okay. Slowly but surely, you can see why these battles, these naval battles, took as long as they did. Not very often you get a killing blow early on. Not with smaller guns. Let's see what armor-piercing shells do from here. doing much of anything that's what all right back to the same strategy again he's starting to try to get away again so we'll get Cassandra right up alongside again He's got to be slower at this point. Just so hard to kit to actually get a hit. He's at 58%. Man, I wish I had some torpedoes. This would have gone a lot faster. Note to self, next time you do a historic battle, load up some torpedoes. I assumed at least one of my classes of ships would have torpedoes. Really surprised that none of them did. All right, Cassandra, do what you did to the first one. Give me an ammo detonation. gonna do the same thing here we're gonna get around them and force them to turn back toward my fleet yeah I'm 300 meters away but I'm still gonna fire smoke
And I'm going to turn Cassandra back the other way because I don't want him to force me into another chase. So I'm going to stay on this side of him. All right, Enterprise, come on. Let's get f some finishing blows. The rest of my fleet's finally catching up, especially these armored cruisers, which have bigger guns. There we go. I think we got you this time, Irene. Wouldn't have been able to do that without that light cruiser's speed. See if it switches to armor piercing on auto. It did. Penetration is 53% here. There's a big hit. Got an ammo detonation. I don't know if that'll be enough to cause the flooding we need to win, though. We'll see. Finally caught up to you, Irene. You're done. Nice. We're getting over penetration from the four inch guns. Tricky part's always getting the killing blows. All right, we got some more flooding now. Almost every compartment's flooded. There it is. All right, let me know your thoughts on that. It started out kind of rough. I, I didn't organize my fleet very well. I should have had them all in one line like what happened in the historic battle. But uh, all's well, it ends with a win. But at some point, we will try that the other way. It'll be much more difficult. Uh, let me know if you have any other ideas about some battles that are manageable size. I'm not talking about Jutland size, but uh, battles that might have you know, 15, 20 ships at max, uh, like this one or less. So uh, use the comment section below. We'll be back tomorrow with some more content. Thanks for watching.